Uh, it's always a challenge. What was I doing? So we got this. We got this area broken out. We're we're pumping out the hydrogen. Um, I might need to set up a few more pumps to do that as well. See how that goes. Um, I could probably I could probably start the first round of bedrooms here, so that we can start accepting more dupes. Yeah, I think I will do that. That'll be something for uh, the dupes to work on. So we will, uh... Yeah. Let's just copy. <laughs> That's the wrong key. There we go. Does uh, Instant Vital have a uh, has a, has a core malice? So let's um, start replacing some of these interior walls with uh, nicer tiles, I guess. There we go, there we go. Get some doors down as well. Flower pots and build the ceiling. Um, actually, all that thought. We're gonna put airflow tiles on top of these as well for continuing the pattern. Ba -ba build. Don't need to be paused anymore. Keep going. Bedrooms. Mm -hmm. And all the way over. To there. Except. These tiles need to be airflow tiles. Uh, gonna go play some games off stream. All right. Thank you for lurking. Have fun with uh, other games. Wait for this auto save. There we go. Natural tiles are kind of in an awkward spot. Yeah, hit you up at five. Fancy playing some Leaf Company? I'll let you know. Uh, probably, I, I feel like I'll have some time this weekend. I mean, I have lots of time. <laughs> I have all this time off from work, but uh, yeah, I'll let you know. I guess for this, I can I can ignore the pattern, and I'll put a door here instead of flush. Let me also make sure I'm selecting buildings as the thing for the filter. Just in case there's any background stuff there. Uh, because I do I do want to play some Lethal Company before we like all get together and do it. If that does in fact happen. Um, just so I get a little practice. Let's also extend this plastic ladder up. Construct the flower pot. Copy the doors. Uh, ha -ha. I feel like I want it to be a surprise when I first play. I mean, that's definitely <laughs> a way of going about it. The 
there's something to be said for the kind of the, the spoiler-free first, you know, just like a genuine first reaction experience. I expect to see the whole crew to die. I mean, that could happen. <laughs> uh, let's see. Hold I want these airflow tiles to, to make sure that uh, air can flow. Go figure. It's in the name. <laughs> okay, so now... I uh, know this should be good. Alright, so again, um, make sure building is selected, and we'll remove all of this, so that should just deconstruct just the ladders here in the, in the room, but not any of the wiring. And then... Let me pause for a second. Let's find a, find a uh, pattern for the, uh, the drywall. So we've been doing like a, a red, green, blue sort of thing. We have a few more patterns now, but we could continue like the color theme with a different blue. Uh, Dynami, Dynam, how do I say your name? <laughs> Dynamis Snipe, I'm heading off, can't stay up any longer. I could leave my computer on, but it's been all past few days, but I love to sleep. Hey, no worries. Thanks for uh, hanging out while you can. Dynamic snipe. Let me know if that's close <laughs> to how you want it said. But uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out while you can. And uh, hope to see you around some other time. All right, let's see here. What are we making this out of? Ooh, plus 20% decor. That's right. All right, cool. So I think if we use the drywall, that covers up all of the uh, the wiring and the plumbing and the ventilation pipes, too. That should be good. All right, and then we're going to do the same thing over here. It's a very satisfying sound, right? To, uh... Oops, don't do that. I'm trying to paint in the lines here. <laughs> Alright, let's get rid of... Oops, that was cancel. Um, there we go. And then now I won't cancel. Cancel all that. Cancel that. Uh, I need to build the door right here. And now we have eight new bedrooms. And I think we're probably going to need a second hydroponic farm to start expanding the bathrooms. Let's go ahead and plan to put that down there. And uh, let's see, remove this, um, remove this. <laughs> I, I have read the message. <laughs> I don't know if I'll read it out loud. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna we're gonna make another bathroom here. And uh, again, the most the thing I have the most of is golden albums, so I'll just keep using that. to set these doors to stay open, I think. Uh, can we just copy settings? Uh, hmm, do I? I guess I don't have that setting on the bedrooms. An arch? What is an arch? And do I want it? Nah. I've already filled out three three teams of Pokemon. 
so I'm probably not going to bother unless I see something that I know is uh, something I really want. <laughs> not that I really know anything about Pokemon. Alright, so... Let's also get some plumbing going here. Now, how do I have it set up? So we have... Oh, I see. I, I, hmm. There we go. It's a fossil Pokemon? Yeah, that makes sense. Well, you caught it. Part flying and part rock. <laughs> um, is the height on this wrong? Did I, did I miss something up here? This is four... One, two, three, four. No, I guess that's all right. All right. So the way this is set up, the, the way this is supposed to be set up, is we go this way. <laughs> uh, and then I need to disconnect some of these pipes. down this way, and we need to disconnect this bit, and then this connects here, and here, and here, and here, and we go up here, and over. There we go. And then that connects to there, so we have our fresh water, our maybe germy water, actually, coming into the bathroom, and then the polluted water leaving. All going down this pipe, and we can have it split and go to both of these hydroponic farms. Our somewhat automated kitchen is still operating down here. We have our metal tile. It's, uh, it's a little cold. They are at negative 109C. The game gets really loud when you like zoom in. Oh, until the power runs out. <laughs> uh, what's going on with the power? What's going on with the power? Uh, I mean. I guess when stuff goes wrong, it, it's it's more interesting that way, right? Right, so current load is only 140 watts. Potential load is 5,800 watts. <laughs> we have too much stuff. Uh, yeah, there you go. Huh. What's the problem, then? Or are we just out of power? Are we literally... Yeah, the batteries are empty. Um, that seems odd. We have so much stuff generating power, but we're out of power. Yeah, this battery's empty too. Like, this isn't generating power, because we... Our steam's not hot enough here. Because we're out of natural gas. Yep, we're out of natural gas. And this is generating power. This might be the only thing generating power right now. I guess that could be true. Um... I mean, if we were to... 
on pause. I mean, the coal generators are running, but three coal generators and a couple hydrogen generators are not enough to uh, power everything anymore. Uh, okay, I think we just had a, li a little lull, a little lull in our, in our power, but it's fine. We probably want to figure out... Uh, right, so we're, we're actually on the path to address that problem, right? Because, oh, <laughs> I'm glad we looked at this right now. Let's turn this off. We have enough petroleum here, I think. Yeah, so that's stable. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to do what Brainland suggested and fill in the space with tiles to destroy all the gas. At least I'm pretty sure that's what he was suggesting. So we're just going to do vertical slices here. And the dupes will come in and build everything. And we basically fill the whole space with tiles up to here. And then we mine it all out. And that destroys all the gas that's in here. Uh, probably even do hmm, I guess we could do all the way across there. I'm gonna need ladders, don't we? Going this way as well. Same thing on the bottom. I've never done uh, this kind of thing. Uh, at least at the scale. Whoops. Ooh, 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 pause. Cancel. Uh, pause. There we go. Shift. Shift is our friend. At some point, the dupes will come back in. Uh, I'm basically waiting for them to, to do this one tile, and then we'll do another layer, and another layer, and so on and so forth. Um, but yeah, so what I was saying, though, was that we're going to build um, oil refinery. which is going to produce natural gas for us. Maybe we'll build a couple. So that'll be another source of natural gas to supplement our uh, couple of geysers that we have that are uh, producing natural gas for us. Because we have one here, and then there's one on the other side of the map, currently. I don't know that there might be more. I don't... Uh, I've not broken down and, like, made a, a note. Uh, like a... A text document or a... Uh, anything. <laughs> Outlining where all the geysers are and what they are and stuff. So, we're just going off of memory. Which is not so great, but... My memory, that is. <laughs> Why aren't you building this? It's reachable. Okay, I'll get there eventually. Uh, I guess we probably have. Let's see here. So we have all the pipe built. Right, but we're not going to actually see any of the oil come up right now because uh, the pipe, like a continuous section of pipe like this, won't actually let any liquid to flow if there's not something on the other end for it to go into. Um, so we could definitely build... Excuse me, we could build a uh, liquid reservoir. Uh, over here, so we can start getting oil accumulated as well. Um, do the liquid reservoirs leak heat? Like, if you put a hot liquid in them, do they heat up and do they leak heat out? Where do I have a liquid reservoir where I can, where I can see that? Hmm. 
Let's see here. So we have... Well, this has a bunch of very cold liquid in it. Uh, and it's 122 degrees C. So I'm gonna guess it's it's not uh, leaking heat in. So probably it's not leaking leaking heat out either. Why I'm wondering about that is just you know if we're gonna pump a bunch of uh, crude oil up here, it's gonna be quite warm since it's coming from down at the bottom of the map next to magma. And debating whether or not I want to put it inside of the insulated area. Seems like that's not necessary though, so we'll uh, we'll just drop it. Uh, not there. Not there either. <laughs> Cancel. Uh, right there, that's good. Alright, where is that pipe coming up with the. Uh... There it is. Okay, onwards, all the way up to here. Over. And in. There we go. Get some uh, some crude oil up here for our eventual petroleum production. That's another word for facility that starts with a P. Don't got it. Anyway. At least we have a good amount of heat here, so we're generating power with these two steam turbines. Uh, right, so one of the things I did notice was that this was prevented from erupting because of overpressure. So potentially we're going to want to choose whether or not to put more water into this space based on its pressure. coming out of here. It's warm. Okay, it's 93C. But we could potentially send it somewhere else. So like the temperature of the liquid over here. 99 uh, Fahrenheit. 30... Yeah, it's, it's much cooler. So we could say if we reach a certain pressure in here that this liquid gets dumped out into our pool. Do that. Um, I do that? I would need to have a, um, a liquid valve. Or... No, a liquid shutoff. Looks like we're... Oh, remember how I was saying that <laughs> the, the steam wasn't warm enough? Now it's not. Yeah, but it's over pressure. So... about that. What indeed? Well, I think short term this is going to solve itself because this is going to erupt and we'll have these steam turbines going some more. I'm going to pause here really quick because I think I really need to handle this, um, this overpressure situation. Like we have 5.4 kilograms of steam per tile. That might be too much. So what we're going to do is we're going to build uh, some kind of a pressure sensor uh, maybe there is such a thing is there a pressure sensor maybe it's an automation 
Uh, Atmos sensor. When gas pressure enters a certain uh, chosen range. All right. So we'll put it down here by the geyser. Since that's ultimately kind of the thing we care about is the pressure at the geyser. And then for plumbing, we need a liquid shut off. Hmm. Yep. It escaped. I think I want like... Yeah, I don't... Birds. Um, I think the total amount of liquid that these output at a given time could be handled by a single pipe. I think the issue before was like the way the, the pipes were put over the outputs caused a problem, but if we were to link them like separately into a single place, it would be fine. Um, and then we would want two shutoffs. So let's put the shutoffs first. So we want one that, um, ooh. Now we can get away with one, I think, if we just use a uh, bridge. Right, because the bridge is going to give priority to a certain path. Um, unless that path is shut off. So the path will be this way. And we'll have priority. And then we'll have a uh, liquid shut off. There. And uh, let's see, then we can add this up. And is this incoming or outgoing? So that's okay. So we want to have this not connected. We need to, in fact, have a route for this pipe to get over somewhere where it can dump out into the, into the pool. Uh, how are we going to do that? Oh, wait, is this? Oh, okay, so this pipe dumps out to the pool. So... Liquid bridge. We'll just skip over there. There we go. And then... Hmm... Okay. We're, we're gonna need a new route for... The uh, output going back into the steam room. And it needs to not have a bridge, but connect to the bridge. And then um, I think we can remove some of these pipes, like these and this. And all of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have both of the steam turbines dump into the single pipe. Now, by default, they will prefer to go through the liquid bridge. It's like the liquid bridge sets the direction. Wait, I think... Hmm, maybe this won't work, actually. Right, because that's not going to be changed by having the liquid shut off here. I think that won't work. What about... I mean, the alternative, right, is to just uh, cancel... Cancel... That build. Build this pipe into there. And then we'll... Uh, cancel that. We'll just build the second one, going the other way. And we'll just have one be the opposite of the other. Alright, and then... Then we need to run a bunch of automation wire. To control the signal. So signal will come up. 
Oh, hey! Hogmatix, welcome, Raiders. Hogmatix, thank you for the raid. Welcome. Brainless, welcome back. <laughs> Rogan Stump. Uh, what were you playing, Hogmatix? Hold on. Wrong key. <laughs> Let me give you a shout out too. Give me, give me a, a minute to type this out because I'm still getting used to this keyboard. Oh, thank you for the follow as well. Uh, at some point, oh, the followers are coming. I see them in the in the dashboard. <laughs> <laughs> Dingo ate my baby. Uh, 04, thank you for the follow. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's right. I got the sp split keyboard that Brainless uh, mentioned on stream a week or two ago. Uh, and there's Streamlabs spitting a bunch of text. <laughs> I, I probably need to trim that down a little bit. I'm still working on typing this. Ch oh, gee. Uh, also, I... <laughs> It's not set up for QWERTY either, so it's it's really uh, it's really uh, stretching my brain trying to use this keyboard. But I'm gonna I'm gonna get there. M A T I X. Did I get that right? I think so. I'm gonna find out when I type enter. You were pl playing Crusader Kings three. Nice. Well. Uh, I, it is a game that I have enjoyed playing a few times, and Crusader Kings 2. I actually played that like the month before I played uh, Eva Brigham Rosales 4 for the first time, back many years ago. Bringing the Giants back to Britain, interesting. Uh, oh right, there is like giantism stuff, isn't, isn't there in that? Is, that? is that what you meant? But yeah, the last time I played CK3, I started in Ireland, as you do when you're trying to get into things, and uh, I formed the, uh, I think they formed the Empire of Britannia, uh, and this was not on stream, this is before I started streaming, but uh, that was the last time I played CK3. I have been thinking about playing it some more, but uh, I kind of have a theme on this channel of like space-oriented games, mostly. Uh, this kind of emerged, I don't know, but CK3 is fun. I might have to play it still sometime uh, on stream. But so generally, I'm playing Oni here on Fridays. I'm gonna gonna get back to that. <laughs> and uh, uh, currently working on uh, ensuring that we're not overpressuring the steam vent in here. And I think I have everything queued. Well, most most everything. Right. I was building this automation wire. Um, but yeah, so I'm usually playing Oni on Friday nights. And then I have streams. I, I'm usually playing some kind of modded Minecraft. I've just wrapped up a series, um, but modded Minecraft Mondays has been the thing for a better, you know, most of the last year. And then um, other stuff. <laughs> um, I had been playing uh, Starfield on Wednesdays of late, and then last this the day before yesterday, I was playing RimWorld. First time playing that on stream, so trying to mix it up a bit. And then I do coding streams, uh, definitely on Sunday mornings, and then sometimes other days as well. So anyway, there, there's this the, the spiel. And this is the most uh, vo most viewers I've ever had on a stream, so thanks for that. That's, that's an exciting milestone. I hope some of you stick around. <laughs> uh, right, so... Given that, let me let me zoom out a little bit. We got the dupes going. Uh, thank you for the follow, <laughs> Cora Luna. Marxy with the hype. Brainless with. I like those emotes. I like all of the emotes that you uh, you show up with Brainless. Foxy Blue with hype too. Got the kitten 309 emotes. I like her emotes too. 
I hope you're going to have some good emotes too, Foxy. With your impending affiliateness. Yeah, so this is the base. How close am I to affiliate? Real close. So as of this morning, I, I have the followers. Obviously, <laughs> the 84 followers now. Um, we only need 50. Uh, but the other thing is you need to have an average of, um, over the last 30 days, three average viewers. And I was at 2.97 as of this morning. So um, this stream, I'm probably just going to, I'm going to keep playing until... <laughs> Uh, people stop watching. Mate, what? Well, mm, mm. I'm not gonna say things that are gonna get me in trouble. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play for a while. I may keep playing for the past, uh, the normal time. But uh, this stream is probably gonna put me over the edge, and then we'll do the all the stuff to uh, become affiliates. Um, maybe this weekend. We'll see. <laughs> Should be fun. Don't stop watching. Got it. Exactly. Everyone just, just, <laughs> yeah. No, it's really. I'm really excited about that. Uh, it's been something. It's been basically the goal since um, pretty much within like a month or two of me starting streaming, and I kind of figured out what that that destination was. The average has been destroyed exactly already. Um, you know, it's one of those things where there's no way I can really do this full time without. I, <laughs> um, that's not even something that's really on the radar because I mean I have a full time job that is <laughs> uh, it pays the bills let's say but I do enjoy streaming I um, like playing video games I like coding I like uh, you know having kind of a community thing and people being able to uh, to watch and enjoy and be able to share stuff with others so uh the more the merrier. It pays the keyboards. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it is kind of a pricey keyboard, not gonna lie. <laughs> oh yeah, the symbol mode is funny. Uh, yeah, so this is our first planetoid. So this is a um, the, the classic style map. So it's the bigger one. Uh, what keyboard we're talking? So it's the... Um, here, hold on. Let's just... It's in my Discord. <laughs> if you do exclamation Discord, uh, go into the general channel. It's in there. But uh, I can I can pull it up actually. Let's see. Instead of moving the the webcam, I'll just like move the keyboard up. So there we go. So it's a split. Let's do, we'll, we'll do half the thing at a time. And eventually, it's going to be set up like on a stand. Uh, stand. So it'll be like at an angle. Yeah, it's a moon lander exactly. But what I have set up, it's not qwerty. It's a, uh, it's this Col Colmac thing. Yeah. All right. Well, hey, thanks for uh, hanging out, listener. Hope you have a good night. Yeah, so right now I just have the two halves flat because that, that's what they suggest for like the first month is just keep it flat and get used to it. And then uh, I have, um, I went all out. So I have the, um, the platform. as well yeah <laughs> um i don't know i mean no no real strong reasons just some quick googling because i i had the idea already that if i was going to get used to this new keyboard i was just going to um go all in and i'll, I'll you know instead of excuse me doing that later there's a uh a Zeb streak of whatever that is in the chat for grabs. Um, instead of like switching keyboard and then maybe sometime later I'll go with Dvorak or something else, I was like, I'll, maybe I'll just go all in, right? Uh, and it's it's been painful. <laughs> Honestly, it's gonna take a while to get used to, but I think it'll be really good. Uh, well, you didn't use an Ultra Ball. It's only like a 60% chance with the normal Pokeball, right? Um, I really like though with uh, the Pokemon community game that it's not it's not a, really a competition in, in trying to get the Pokemon like multiple people can get the same one <laughs> uh, 
Uh, oh, we're not we're not paused, so the game has been going this whole time. But yeah, so we have uh, some some rocket stuff going on here. Um, just in the last few streams, I've been learning about setting up rockets and stuff. Yeah, yeah, there is a, a little uh, extension thing on this the the channel that you can go and actually like battle the Pokemon and stuff. Thanks for mentioning that, Marksy. Um, I have been doing that a little bit. What I what I did one night was actually I think I was watching Fo Foxy Blue stream and then I uh, I just popped out the extension I had on another monitor. I was just playing it. Ah, oh, it escaped. Yeah, I'm. I'm not saying that I was bored with Foxy Blue's stream, but <laughs> it's kind of lurking, multitasking, many things. I have three screens. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they have like ranked ones too, and then, uh, yeah. Anyway, and we did. So we did have some stuff that we built down here, kind of near. So at the very bottom of the maps, magma. It's very hot. <laughs> Very dangerous, uh, but also oil. Uh, let's see. So speaking of which, did we get oil pumping and piped. Look at the plumbing overlay. Okay, I wasn't paused. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So we we filled this pipe up. You began learning Dvorak, but not not against the idea of using a layout. Yeah, I've never I've never learned done anything besides QWERTY. So, uh, but I figured. If like I said, I would just go all in on the whole experience. And I can see that it is going to be awesome once uh, <laughs> once all of the, the neurons align properly for it. Alright, so we have a bunch of crude oil up here ready to go. Uh, I've been not paying attention to this whole filling in the area with tile. So let's, let's get that going. Could we do something like this, so I don't need to be paused? There we go. QWERTY is... Uh, is a thing. Yeah. Uh, I don't even know what my, w, um, my words per minute is on just a normal keyboard anymore. But it's definitely something that, you know, I don't think about... <laughs> don't think about the keyboard on that kind of keyboard anymore. But on this thing, maybe like five. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna get this area filled in so we can make some petroleum, so that we can fuel the rocket, so we can send the rocket out and get more data banks, so we can, um, what, what are we uh, What are we trying to achieve in this game? Well, yeah, I've been using Kirk pretty, uh <laughs> since a similar age, yes. I, I suspect, I, I don't know how old you are, Marxy, but I suspect I am older than you. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think, ultimately, yeah, muscle memory, exactly. Oh, uh, now you ruined the surprise. Yeah, I'm definitely older than you. Uh... Right, so there's a, um, I didn't want to place that quite yet. Oh, uh, no, that's that. There we go. Get those tiles in. <laughs> uh, you're, you're a cute little baby in a middle-aged man body. <laughs> you still got ID. Who's gonna ID anyone for Red Bull? Oh, right, right, right. I, I don't know how it is in England. Or wherever in the UK you are. You have to be 16? I mean, that's probably a good idea, but not the case in the US. <laughs> Yeah, there was definitely a point in my my late teens or early twenties where I was downing a lot of 
uh, Red Bulls, and then it was like full throttle on those sorts of things, but... <laughs> I mean, you can here too, just not legally. Uh, don't take my energy drinks away, I can't code without them. I gave up on them a number of years ago. It wasn't really related, but I had a whole thing where I had to go to the ER and get my gallbladder removed. And, uh, the lead up to that was a really unpleasant experience, and there was just kind of an association in my mind with those energy drinks and that experience, so I, I never went back to them. She said you look like a high schooler. <laughs> well, that is, uh, in a way kind of nice. Oh, you, you, you had the gallbladder issue as well, huh? Yes, it's no fun. Uh, I was on Facebook last week and someone had made a thrown out of Monster Energy cans. There must have been like a thousand. Yeah. No, no. It's, it's not good. We're always getting someone with food poisoning. I don't know where the how the food poisoning is getting on the food. So I don't know about this whole filling in with tiles thing. I think if I was, <laughs> if I had a lot more idle loops maybe, or maybe if it was, um, ooh, at some point I should do uh, transit tubes for dupes to get around. I uh, limit myself to one monster a day plus a few espressos, otherwise just a uh, open switch. Sure, sure. Um, well, I mean, I'm not caffeine free by any means. I'm doing, I usually do roughly two shots. You know, I have an espresso machine, so I'm, I'm making my own espresso drinks in the morning. Uh, I think our blast doors are all shut, so it should be good. Uh, so two shots in the morning, and then two shots after lunch. It makes you sleepy. Interesting. Uh, I. I know someone who has has had a similar experience with coffee. So that that is a thing, but not for me. All right, yeah. So we're all sealed up. We don't have to worry about the meteorites. Hopefully, busting stuff up. I think it's the caffeine crash. Oh, that makes. Ooh, caffeine makes you sick. Dingo. It's okay if I call you Dingo, or would you prefer me to address you as Dingo Ate My Baby 04? <laughs> uh, but I don't feel the effect of it as much as other people. Dingo is fine? Alright. I. I. Mm, yeah. I do like to ask. Uh, there's the escape key. All right, so eh? I must have missed something. <laughs> ah, I see. broken? Huh? Well. Oh, there must have been some ladders. Uh, oh, I see. Mm, that's fine. They'll, they'll get fixed eventually. Yeah, we don't have complete coverage here front with a uh, bunker tile, but I don't think we have enough steel here to really do much anything else, so that's fine. It'll get repaired. On we go. I do want to actually at least get... <laughs> the petroleum stuff going today. You want to open uh, Mind Over Magic again? I know. <laughs> I will not sleep today if I do so. Okay. Well. I think you were saying before you're going to have to do some weekend work anyway, so you might want some sleep. 
Oh, there we go. Get some more tiles built. Uh, is there any reason I can't just tell them to build all of this? Uh, okay, Marxy, time for some sleep. Yeah, it is. What time is it even over there? It's quite early, isn't it? Thanks for, for hanging out and chatting and all that. Uh... I'll be sure to catch your next stream as well. And in fact, you know what? I should do this. <laughs> we, you just missed 420? <laughs> Hold on. Uh, give me a second so I can do this. Uh, space. How do we spell your name? MXR. Uh, K S Y. So Marxy uh, streams. A lot of Fortnite. Uh, some other things. What else were you streaming recently? Uh, Outlast. Oh, and there goes Streamlabs again. <laughs> yeah, figuring out how to type on my keyboard. That's going to be a thing for a while. It's that hunt and pack. But yeah, I, I've definitely been enjoying Mark's streams. Um, it's different from the, the kinds of stuff that I, I normally play in stream. But... Uh, <laughs> If you like that sort of thing, check him out. He's over in the UK, so he has a bit different hours than uh, us US-based folks do. And it's been really uh, pretty supportive of this channel uh, and also Foxy Blue's channel. Uh, In the, in the last couple of weeks as we've uh, kind of <laughs> found each other's streams. Just love how we all found each other via... <laughs> yeah, exactly! It was because of your chatbot that was lurking in our, in our different streams and uh, probably a lot of other people's too, even people that, it, you know, didn't follow up. I mean, I imagine... Do you know how many different channels you had your bot in? <laughs> there you go, thinking about metrics, but anyway, good stuff. All right, let's keep keep tiling it in. I think it's around 200, 260,000 before I, having issues with Twitch. Uh, that, that's quite a lot. So then it just starts from zero again. <laughs> Thank you, streamers. I mean, sure. I mean, in terms of like absolute numbers, sure. But I mean, it must be a fairly small percentage that actually like invest, like see the bot in the chat and then go look at the channel and then, you know, kind of that funnel. It must narrow quite a bit because you, <laughs> you you get a good number of people coming to your channel, but you don't have you know a tenth of that showing up. Yeah. Oh yeah. Sure. But still, that's a lot. A lot of channels. All right. What else? Uh, all right. We're gonna work on this whole situation. Which, uh, this is unreachable, so that's that's not gonna make any progress until we get a ladder over there. there we go. Uh, we got a wild something in the chat. Foxy's going after it. Uh, it's only the one person who actually wants to engage, network them if you don't. Yeah, that's fair. Kind of you have you have some kind of uh, self filtering going on in that event. <laughs> uh, yeah. It, okay. Cool. So it tells you that you can run um, exclamation pokey start to get going on that.
There you go, and you get a starter too. Now, if you want a chance of uh, grabbing whatever that Pokemon was, you need to run the uh, Poke Catch skin. Getting a, a Wendy's tomorrow? Are you are you buying a, a restaurant? Or, or are you going to a Wendy's? <laughs> there you go. You both caught it. Alright. Well, I'm already in there. I was responding to Fox's comment about the only good anime being um, Steins Gate, which is a good it is a good anime. <laughs> but uh, I, I mentioned some of mine in there as well. Some of the ones uh, I'm looking forward to uh, the next things. But you have you talking all day. <laughs> all right. See you later. Have a good night. Uh, you forgot this is your first time in this chat. I have done the Pokemon and others. That's interesting because I maybe it was a different one because I've definitely I've only had to do Pokestart once. Maybe it was a different extension. Um, this is the one that I saw. Where did I originally see this? Was this in Marxie's channel first? Or in Foxy's? I don't remember. Anyway, it's a fun diversion. I just gotta say it's amazing that all you guys are still here hanging out. Um, one thing that I've wanted to do for a long time, and may have to start doing if we get, keep on getting this kind of turnout on uh, on these kind of streams, is doing more like view and inter interaction stuff on the games, because we have like we have all of these dupes uh, in here, and they just have like default names. Like we could get your names in here. We could do uh, like polls for like things to do next and that sort of stuff. Uh, someone I, uh, a much bigger streamer that who I enjoy, uh, his streams, uh, Rodamont, he does that, like, that's his whole shtick, is, like, viewer-driven, like, what happens next sort of things, uh, and, uh, your Twitch is weird sometimes, uh, like, my rap didn't even list my most, most watched streamer that I watched almost every day, huh, yeah, like, channel points for stuff like that, yeah, that's an option, like, channel point redemptions to get your name in, that could be a thing. Uh, oh, right. So we're going to get this whole pressure situation set up. So the current ambient pressure is... Here, let me pause, actually. So I can think. Um, yeah. So current ambient pressure is uh, 5,920 grams. I suspect that the threshold is going to be like 5,000. So let's see, can we hit that? Or I could probably just type that. There we go. Insert. So send a grin signal if above 5,000 could be good. And then if we look at the, uh, the automation overlay, I pause, unpause really quick. There we go. So now we get a green signal. And so what I want to do is I want this green signal. I might make that red actually. So the reason for that is because we're going to put in a knock gate to invert the signal. Ba, 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 there we go. And we can drop that maybe right there. And then we'll build to here like this. So whatever signal this is putting out will go here. So if this is... So what we want is if it's below the threshold, we want to turn on this shut off. Hold on, how does this work? Yeah, green is allowed the, the, the liquid flow. So we want to allow the liquid flow if this, uh, if this is below pressure. Otherwise, we want to deny the liquid flow. We don't want to put more liquid into the uh, container. Actually, 
Another way I could have done this was with controlling the uh, the vent. Ooh, maybe I'll do that. So then we don't need, we still need to not get here, but what we can do is we can run the automation wire directly to the vent. We're also gonna get rid of this vent. But then we don't need the liquid shut off here, so we'll deconstruct that. Um, that means we can have that pipe going across like that. And then we're gonna have this connected here and this connected here. And let me get that liquid overlay back because we have a pipe that we don't need right here. Nope, that's the bridge. Liquid pipe, deconstruct, there we go. That little bit of pipe there we don't need. So we're gonna have, so the, the way the steam turbines work is that the steam comes in um, if it's hot enough. Uh, it gives us energy. Might want to insulate that. Oh, what this? Uh, yes, I think you're right. Because otherwise, it's going to be pretty hot liquid. Um, I don't care about insulating stuff out here. This can get hot. Well, if it gets too hot, we'll deal with it later. But uh, but this, yes, because. We'll potentially get the heat from the steam, elevating the, the the heat of the water, and then it could boil and break the pipe. Uh, all right, you're off, uh, Dingo. All right, it's uh, late for me. I'm off to bed. Hope to see you around. Yeah. Uh, like I said, I stream as per my schedule, and then sometimes more. So uh, feel free to drop by. And, uh, yeah, so insulated pipes, yes. But if it will get hot, if it gets hot, the radiance will consume it, and the aqua tuner will have extra work. If it gets hot, the radiance will consume it. Yes, that's not a bad thing. <laughs> yeah, what well, Brainless said, sleep well. Uh, Alright, so we're gonna... Can I do that? Yeah, I can do that. All right. So we'll build over this. We'll insulate this part in here. And we're gonna build that automation wire. That's all reachable. We'll have that knot gate there. We'll control the vent. So if I look at the automation overlay again, it says green signal is enable building. So we want to then invert this. So green signal if below 5,000 grams. Uh, we need a power wire here. Power wire. There we go. And let's not build over the conductive wire there. All right. That's not right key. There we go. Uh, what's going on right now? Oh, I see we're backing up. There we go. So we're gonna go this way. And this is gonna allow liquid right now because we don't have the automation wire set up quite yet. And this is backed up because the liquid shut off doesn't have power and it's disabled by automation grid because we haven't run the other part yet. So I think once everything is built this will actually properly work. Okay, that's already shut off. That's good. Uh, we have new printables. And this time, probably had that for a while actually, but it's, uh, this time we actually have bedrooms for more dupes, so we could uh, at least take four more. I, I think my message was misunderstood. Uh, eventually it might be noticed. Hmm. That's, aw. Also, I was hoping the drywall would cover the, uh, the pipes and stuff does not. 
O2 level? What O2 level? Oh boy. Uh, I think it's improved. <laughs> uh, let's see. Hey, look, it's barely breathable. 500 grams. This is fine. Uh, I hope that we are... Okay, good. We are properly... Uh, I think what I'm going to do for now is I'm going to stop the pump. We don't need to waste the power on this until the hydrogen kind of settles back over here. There we go. It's, it's a lot better than what it was. Go. 600, almost 700 grams down here. Or were you referring to something else? That's also possible. What spawn do you have? Well, I have this old one here, the little one. I don't think the issue is the spawn. Um, and then I have, I have this one over here. Uh, I know there's some some plans for automation stuff, but uh, <laughs> it's the same one from the last few streams. natural gas skin. A uh, large one should be able to keep 32 dup dupes alive. Correct. Uh, I do... Let's see. But if it gets hot, the radiance will consume it, and the aqua tuner will have extra work. Was that the message you were referring to? Or... Something else. Anyway, I wanted to look at the principles. We get we could potentially take a few more dupes. I think I think we'll be okay with the, another dupe or two. Uh, or we could have spicy tofu. Um, let's not make the situation worse by taking a mouth breather. But we could take uh, wrenching uh, to rest to impress. Attribute bonus is while stressed. Hmm. Uh, I'll I'll just take some extra calories. I'm so picky with dupes. Uh, I should fix the direction on these. Uh, sinks. There we go. And then hopefully all the plumbing is good here. Seems like it. Um... Oh yeah, I never set the... Uh seed for this other hydroponic. Put another um, thingamajig here. Thimble reap. Plant. Uh, Brainless says, yeah, that one was regarding the pipes above the steam turbines, which are not insulated, but you were cooling the turbines, thus it's capturing the cooling. An option will have to do more to keep it cool. Right. Because... The pipes not being insulated will add more heat, which will make its way into the steam turbine, which will uh, then be, you know, heat into the coolant. Um, oh, I was looking at that number, but that's an empty pipe. There we go. 3.4C. I guess. I think it's probably fine for now. I don't think we're having an issue with keeping the coolant cool. Um, oh, I don't need this automation wire here. So let's look at the automation overlay. Are we sending the right signals? So because our pressure is too high in here, we are turning off the liquid dump into the steam room, and instead we are enabling this. So now the water should be flowing um, this way. 
but it's not. Why not? Confused. No power. Oh, that would be why. <laughs> right. So we didn't connect this. Okay, I don't want to actually build that there. Will that still be connected though? Yes. Alright. Cool. Alright, so now our excess water. Circuit overloaded. My own fault. Oh, right. Mm. What happens once the automation kicks in? I gotta look over the screen now because Streamlabs put such a long message in chat. What happens once the automation kicks in? Uh, when does it stop redirecting liquid away? So it will stop when the pressure goes below 5,000 grams, five kilograms. So the green signal will, um, the signal will be green. And so that will enable liquid vent and shut off the liquid shut off. And I'm hoping that will be a low enough pressure that the steam, the cool steam vent can erupt again. So no, that not only can we use this as a source of power, but also as a source of water. Because why not? I mean, granted, the cool steam vent is emitting steam that has temperature, right? So we are getting a little bit of hotness, but not a lot. It's 110 degrees C. We're getting much more heat from the uh, the cobalt volcano and the thermal aqua tuner versus the uh, the cool steam vent. So mainly, I want this to operate so that we can uh, we can get water as we uh, accumulate steam in here. Um. All oh, right, so we're having uh, power problems because target three to four. Okay, let's uh, let's do four then. At least the numpad. I'm, I have a handle on the overlay that triggers the numpad for the, the keyboard. Anyway, um, so the issue with power right now is that we have these two things that supply two thousand. Uh, joules? Is that what we're talking in? Joules, yeah. Down to here. Uh, but the wire connected. Uh, for the wire, why don't I just use the heavy watt for the shutoff? Can you? Why not indeed? I mean, I suppose so. I mean, we've been running heavy watt wires to supply power for other, other things, so why not this too? Let me get all that wire, all that copper ore back. All right, uh, maybe we should keep on working on this other project. <laughs> is fine. We'll use that there. We have all of our, all this crude oil reserved, ready to be used. We just need space to use it. Now, to be fair, if I would have built the, like, just a, a pump and pumped the gas out, we'd probably be sitting here waiting for it to pump still anyway. Because I wouldn't have, like, built four pumps or something. And there we go. All right, so now this can work. Uh, I reached cycle 500 in my game. Seven metal, metal volcanoes, one petroleum boiler, and some other vents. Nice see overall. Nice. 
only only 500 cycles. <laughs> no, it's funny. I've definitely seen you have zero metal issues. Very nice. Yeah, seven. Uh, I mean, I know that we have a bunch of like. I think there's another iron volcano. Uh, there's some minor volcanoes. I don't know if there's any other metal volcanoes on this map. Probably are. Uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, I, I know watching, like, uh, some of the GC Fungus's playthroughs, like, he <laughs> queues up huge amounts of works for the dupe, like, work for the dupes to do, and, like, gets so much done in, in very few cycles, but, uh, you yeah. know, it's cool to watch. Uh, three of those were tamed by a single dupe on the second asteroid, Ruby deserves a medal. Do the, um, are the names that the game gives for the dupes purely randomized, or do they relate in some way to the, the skills the dupes have? There's a question. Well, it's uh, it's been a short three hours. I think um, they they match the just the the character model, right? Okay, makes sense. It'd be kind of cool if there were like commonalities or traits, like if you print a uh, like a a ruby. Hey, there's a ruby right there. Uh, they would have like certain traits associated with that, but that doesn't really make sense. Uh, let me, let me pause right here for just a minute and check something. <laughs> 